So this is um, a little AutoCAD um, shoot that uh, will go through bringing images uh, into AutoCAD um, and sort of how to get started. I think to start with, um, go to the uh, net, um, uh, net storage, um, which is this address here. Um, you navigate through um, this stuff till you get to um, uh, this folder location and download the um, template file and I think probably just use the line weights one for now um, download um, and that'll download and you can open it up uh, I've already done that so I'll jump across back to AutoCAD um, there's my file. so that has layers and it's also got some printing stuff set up and a few bits and pieces which we'll get into later um, to start with I think there isn't a layer for raster images, so we'll quickly make one. Um, click on the layer properties box, that'll bring this up. Um, we'll make a new layer, and we'll call it um, uh, raster. Uh, and I'll just plug in a bit of a description here, and I'll say that this is um, uh, raster images. And then to make that layer current, I'll just double click. So the little um, tick here says that that's the current layer. You'll also notice that it's um, become current up here. So then we'll insert our image and go across to the blocks and references tab and then images. Um, then you'll need to navigate to wherever you put your um, your plans and sections and so forth. Yeah, that's mine there. Uh, plan 1 to 100. Yep, 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 yep. We'll just leave those as defaults. And then you kind of drag in the screen. Sometimes um, it'll uh, become enormous and you'll sort of be zoomed in on a weird little bit and it'll look like potentially that nothing happened. So uh, what you need to do then is go to the Home um, tab and then Zoom Extents, which is this guy over here. Uh, right, so now we want to scale this. Um, so Because at the moment it's um, just at a kind of random scale. Um, a lot easier to do in AutoCAD than in Photoshop. All we need to do is um, click on the scale button, which is this guy here, under the modify um, sub tab. Select the, you need to select the edge of the image. When you select in here, nothing really happens. Um, then hit enter. Then you have a sort of start point, and that doesn't really matter where you pick for now. Um, it can be important um, depending on what you want it to do, but We'll just click in here somewhere. Um, then if we read the command prompt at us, you've got a few options. We want R for reference because we're going to tell it um, two points and then how far the distance should be between those two points. So R, then enter. Um, then we'll zoom in on something. Um, now if you don't have a scale bar, you could use Google Earth to do a distance measure between two sort of known points like the edge of this um, uh, balustrade or something. Um, you can use doors and things but they're because they're so small they can be fairly inaccurate. Luckily we've got a scale bar so we'll use that. So I'll say the first point I want to be uh, here and then the second point is over here and I won't use the 5, I'll use the 10 because that'll give us a more accurate result. I'll click in here and then it asks um, what the distance between those two points should be, and I know that it's 10 metres. Enter. Um, you probably need to go to the zoom extents button again, because um, it will have scaled it, and it might be very small or very big. Okay, so that's then scaled. Then we can go up into here, and we can pick a... Uh, what will I do? I'll start on some walls, so I'll do a stud wall, um, wall stud, and then uh, I'll start drawing. So draw a polyline, um, and I'll just sort of go across here, and I'll just go down to there, draw another one, um, from sort of near here to there. Then I'll use offset and trim to get started, so I'll assume that the walls are 100 mil for now, uh, offset, offset, um, then I'll start trimming 